Oops. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Everyone. It is, again, Monday morning, and we're back with Real Talk with Devin Will. It is a pleasure to be here this morning. We hope that you had a great weekend, although it was a bit soggy here in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, but it, it is summertime. And frankly, I'm used to it raining every day, but I'm not, I'm not really good with it raining all day every day. <laughs> if, it could, if it could just rain like at 3 in the morning to 5 in the morning, that'd be cool. But uh, we don't have that choice <laughs> right now. But right now, but right now it's been raining um, pre pretty much every day, pretty much any time during the day. So it's the price you pay for living in the tropics. It is. We are OK with that. It, 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 never, it, it never snows here. Statistically, it never snows here. I was here in 77 when it snowed, but it never snows here. And in February, you can go play golf. So there you go. All right, um, it is, we're going to sort of double back on a topic that we, um, that actually we always touch on, but we want to get into to it a little deeper. Uh, what is the most important relationship in your house? Uh, and I know a lot of you will think that, especially that you, those of you who have children, um, that, that the children, you know, the children you know, are the most we, important are thing. the most important thing, because that's how we've been living our lives in this country for a long time. It's the kid. Everything is child centric. Everything, every place you go has to be child friendly. There are businesses now that will come and child proof your house, which is interesting. It's an interesting word that they get child proof your house when there's children inside. I don't understand what that is, but the, to make sure that the children don't get into anything. Um, you go to visit somebody's house with a small child, they put everything breakable up so the kid can't, so, so the child can have free reign. Everything is about the kid. So your house goes into chaos because you have a, a child. Yes. <laughs> and that's kind of how we've been told by the experts, especially in America, to live. Um, I don't know if that's so good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that it, that it isn't. Uh, so we're going to get into that a little bit today for people, especially people who have, have children, especially people, I think, who have younger children. I don't think it's this. I don't. I, I think that having older children still in the house is a completely different conversation. But I think when we're talking about it, 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 it is younger children. Uh, so Deb, because you asked the question of many married people who have, say, children from one to nine or something like that. Oh, what is the most oh, important? <laughs> what is the most important thing <laughs> in the household? And you think it's the children, but. Um, of course, it's important to take care of your children, um, to feed them, clothe them, keep them in in a dry environment and <laughs> and warm so you, and protected. So, so you so you shouldn't leave them in the yard. No. Overnight, if they they misbehave, he's like, nope, gotta stay in the yard. <laughs> That's probably not good. Chain to the tree. Chain to the tree. That'll probably get you in jail. Yeah, that will get you in jail. And good, because because you're crazy. But. Uh, <laughs> But the children are not the most important thing in your marriage um, because what can't, well, what should come first is your relationship. Um, you, you, most people get married first and that is the most important part of your relationship. And, um, and then the children come that, but now, you know, you see a lot of, that's not the norm because a lot of people have their children way before they actually commit to each other um, in the, the marriage portion. Isn't that the, isn't that part of the problem though? Because when you, because, because when you have the kids, because you have the kids first, then they, and, and that becomes the, your level of commitment when you have the children first, because you, because you hear guys say all the time, well, I take care of my kids. But you you didn't even marry their mother. How are you taking care of your kid? You didn't marry their mother. You 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 didn't even do something that doesn't cost you any anything really. Uh, you you still bail on all of them, you know, in an afternoon. So that that becomes the commitment, the first commitment. So unfortunately, it's having the kids. So so so, so one day that gets trans transfixed into what the most important relationship is when the, when the fact of the matter is that the most important relationship is between the parents is the marriage 
that's the most important relationship. And I'm not condemning people who have children out of wedlock. Uh, that, you know, that's between you and your God and whatever you do. Um, because for the grace of God, that, that could have been us, could you be. know, you know, it could have been us. But um, what I am saying is that your children, if you plan on having a successful marriage or a successful relationship, don't put your children before that relationship. You got to have a good, stable relationship. And then, then father and mother, those children, then you are stronger and more capable of taking care of your children properly. Yeah, it's it's um no, I, I I have to go do something technical, but I'll, I'll be right back. But the idea is even on an airplane, they tell you when the mask comes down to put it on yourself first. Yes. Because then you prime you're, example, right? Because there. then you're able to take care to take of care of the children because children. because you're not passed out, fainted, mm -hmm. or oxygen deprived. You can actually take care of your children. Otherwise, you put the mask on them first you're putting it on them to take care of you. Um, so that should be a really good example of, of, of what has to happen in a family that, that the most important relationship in the house has to be, has to be the parents because they're the ones in charge of taking care of the children. So put the mask on you, you first. first. That's take the care of your marriage um, before taking care of your children. Your marriage, your marriage needs to be strong. Um, that's why a lot of times when people go into the, to have the process of having kids and stuff, it starts to, to dwindle and things start to fall, fall apart because you haven't secured your two's relationship. How can you have a relationship with this new newborn that is struggling and screaming for you at 2 a.m. in the morning and you can't even, um, you don't even like the person that's laying next to you, <laughs> you know? So you got two pressures on you. The person laying next to you wants attention and then that baby wants attention. So who gets the attention first? Most likely the mother gets up and she goes and takes care of the child. Um, but you got to find time to take care of your relationship. My husband's having a little technical difficulty. I'm good. Here. Go ahead. I'm good. You're good. I'm proud of you. Keep on it. You're doing, you're doing good. You're doing good. Um, the marriage strength um, is important because if you – if you focus only on your children and, and taking care of them and staying and spending more time with them than you do with your spouse, what happens when that child graduates from high school or finishes college and totally moves away from your home and you're there with a stranger because you spent more time making sure Johnny got the football practice and making sure that Johnny, uh, can play that instrument and Johnny can do all. Johnny is very successful, but what do you know about your spouse? And that, and that's why I think that's why you see when the kids leave a lot of times and people have been married 25 years that they end up in divorce and you think, what? Everything, After all those years, everything seemed to go so well. Their, ch their children were so successful and they were involved in this and that. And they were, they were great. They were great baseball parents and they were great football parents and they were great band, band parents, parents and orchestra boosters. And they seemed so, they seemed so happy. You know what they seemed was busy. Yes. yes. <laughs> they, they were busy and they didn't have time to deal with whatever was going on between the two of them. And then once the child is gone, then it's like, okay. Who are you? And, and even even in, in situations where where you don't see the same sort of divorce situation, um, I had a light go out, but we're still here. Uh, it was a battery powered light, so the so the electricity didn't go out of the house. We're good. Uh, but um, the, the the deal is that when the when the children need you the most, when they're of age where they really need you to be there for them, if they don't have that solid base to jump off from, to, to make sure they can come back to, you know, what mm -hmm. in their teenage angst, when their most angst time in their teenage years, 
if they can't depend on their parents to be there and to be that strong place, that safe place for them, because your relationship is is crap, then you're not helping any, then you're really not helping anybody. Yeah. Because at that time in their life, they are starting relationships and getting to know possibly their spouses and, you know, who they're going to be as adults. And they come to you and want help with that. Well, you spent so much time on developing them when they were a baby or a, chi- or a kid. Now you can't help them when they are adults. Because they look at your relationship, you know what, and, and I'm telling you, kids and people look more, look at more, see more of, of, of what's happening than what you actually say. So they look, yes. say, they can see the condition of your relationship. Um, they, they can, and that's their first example. So if you're really interested in, in your children being successful and having successful relationships, um, then it is really important that that, that, that that first relationship they see is a strong relationship um, and has all the elements that you want that you want them to have in it. But you have to have that in your relationship first. Uh, so that's why that that's why that's another reason why this relationship is more important than the next relationship. Now, now, now again, I'm not saying that you should be a tiger mom. And uh, again, and not really consider your children in decisions that you make for your family. I'm not, we're not, we're not saying that at all, but the most important relationship is not necessarily with them. The most important people in the house aren't the children. I think that we, ha- but I think we have this whole, I, this, this flipped up, I upside down idea. Um, we think that in a corporation that the most important people are the workers when the fact of the matter is that the most important person in the place is actually the CEO. That's the person who has the responsibility mm-hmm. to make sure that the company has the vision and all the things it needs to go forward. To so the workers, so the workers, the entry level workers can can still have a job. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is the CEO who's the most important person um, in a classroom. And, and I, I spent fifteen point years. 15.1 years in, in, in education. The, the most important person in the classroom is not the student. The most important person in the classroom is the teacher because you could have the kids in the classroom by themselves and without the teacher, then what do you have? Zippo, you got mm-hmm. nothing. So the most important person in the classroom is not the student. Um, it is actually the teacher. So we've sort of got this upside upside down because we are in a touchy touchy feely sort of, oh, I'm sorry. Politically uh, correct. Correct sort of. Sort of, uh, sort of time frame that gets that that has gotten off, gotten off really off course, and has gotten relationships and families really off course by not considering who, what entities are the most important entities um, in the house, in the house, in the business, in the school, um, <clears throat> and people have taken this into their families and to with disastrous results, really, absolutely disastrous results. Um, so, um, again, the most important people in the household have to be, have to be the parents, have to be the CEOs of the house. That's my wife is having some technical problems. I have the technical problems. <laughs> I apologize. It's okay. Um, but that's the most important thing. I mean, that's really the most Hello, important Linda. thing. Um, so if, um, if you can make and if and if you have small children, you can still make that adjustment. Um, you still can, even if you have grown kids who are out of the house, you can still make that adjustment because what we what we're finding out is even grown kids who leave the house, uh, if they stay in the area, or actually with advent of the internet, even if they don't stay in the area, still dominate a lot of their parents' time and their energy and resources and the like. Um, and I, I know a lot of people don't like this, but I thought it was it was really hysterical to see the bumper sticker on the back of the really big RVs that say we're spending our children's inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a balance there, but yeah, but, you got to take care of your children. Well, yeah, right? I, if you can, you should take care of your children so they don't have to start over. They have to start at zero. And you should take care of finances so that you have for your retirement and to leave an inheritance. Yeah, so. So that, but the idea is that you, that at that point, you still have a life. 
that your life still doesn't revolve around your, especially your adult children who have kids, who have, who have kids and, and wives and husbands, that your life still doesn't revolve around them, that you have your own life. Why? Because mm-hmm. you've all, because you've built that relationship. And now that's just another phase of it when they leave and take their kids and, and, and their spouses and go off. And that's cool. Um, that your relationship is solid enough that you can enter that next phase of your uh of your marriage. I think that that's really important. And, and a lot of people, and so a lot of people r- right now don't, they don't. So if their kids don't come back and they're, and, and they don't get to spend time with them and, and they don't have the same sort of influence. Like we talked about in the last video, we talked about um, the role of parents um, in marriage. Uh, the parents who stay involved in their grown kids' marriages. I think it may a lot of the times be because they don't have their own, life they don't have their own life their life still revolves around their children because they 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 live their lives involved vicariously through their children so once the children are adults they still want to puppeteer their children's lives they want to to tell them uh, you know what kind of house to buy what kind of car and how to raise their children you know you you, the grandparents are there as as mentors and to help and guide, but they should not be raising your children. No, they shouldn't be involved in the daily in, 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 in the daily things of, of 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 that family, because that family has its own, has its own challenges, has its own perspective, and its own responsibilities. That's again, that's a, that's a perfect time once you got them up and going is to continue on to the next phase of your relationship. I think that that's important. But again, if you've always thought that the most important relationship was with, with your children, if they've always been the most important things, in, you know, the important, I shouldn't say things, because they're not they're the most no. important people um, in the family, I think that that lends to um, parents who end up being way too invasive into their, into their grown children's relationships. Mm-hmm. So, again, it, and, and if you've already if you've already started, if you already have kids, uh, and, and you and you see that, oops, and you see that that's already happened, um, it's not too late to pull out. It's not too late to make make adjustments, make changes. Now, when you do that, though, your kids are going to freak out a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to think that they're they've been ab- they've been abandoned by their parents, depending on your level of. Um, you're, you're, where, how far you are into it, uh, they are, um, and I, and we're not saying that you stop supporting your kids. Uh, I'm 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 truly not saying that you decide that you know what you're not going to go to their you know their baseball games on Saturday. No, you please, should be doing that. Please do that, but always find time for your marriage. Always find time. You know, don't make every single Saturday of your life of doing your, you know, doing something with the kids and, and don't ever take a vacation without your kids. Don't ever do, you know, you got to have a relationship with your spouse first in order to, to strengthen your children. Uh, 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 Let them know that it's okay for mommy and daddy to go out by themselves Mm-hmm. Um, and stay home with an older an older sibling, or or or, or you know what? Or, That's when the grandparents can come or, in, or 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 grandparents or some. Or, every or now somebody. and then, not every weekend. Your grandparent, the grandparents should not have. Them well, because they, they they should have a life too. <laughs> yes. And their life isn't like just waiting until they can come and watch your children. What we are doing, what we are suggesting, is a balance. What you know, people go from one extreme to another, you know, have a equal balance yeah. of, of, you know, of time with your children, time with your spouse, letting the grandparents spend time with them. You know, I, I remember my, I'm so fond of my summers because I spent my summers and, and, and I really look back now and they think about it. They shipped you away. Yes. <laughs> and that was time Bye. that my parents had to themselves. Bye. They shipped me off down here to Winter Haven. I spent a lot of summers with my grandparents here. They they shipped me off to my father's um, mother, which she lived in the same town, but um, it was a distance. It was a distance away from us, and and so we would go spend. Me and my cousins, we would go spend 
the summers with uh, our, my, our grandparents. So that that was time that our parents had to themselves. Never really thought about and it. And I never you? thought about it until now. You know, there's got to be time <laughs> that you you the the kids are not the most important thing in the house, and and a lot of times the kids when they are made that way, they expect their spouse to think you know, well, she, she's the best thing since sliced bread, and you're gonna be put up on a pedestal when you get married, and it's not gonna be that way all the time. No, right? it, that's, that's, that's absolutely <laughs> correct. That is absolutely correct. So um, I think I, I, I think Debbie's right. It, it gives, I think it gives people, it gives children a, um, a a sort of skewed view of their level of importance. You know, we talk. I mean, we talk. You know, you know, in, in a social sense, we talk all the time about uh, people feel being entitled, feeling entitled. These kids feel so entitled, and I've said forever. It isn't the newfangled kids that are the problem. It's the newfangled parents that the are the problem. Parents are the problem. You know, it's, it's a different generation raising kids. And I think that it, and I think because we we have entered this sort of, and we call it in the school system, student centric or child centric education, child centric everything, where everything in the world revolves around the six year old. Um, that adults can't do adult things. Adults can't make adult decisions. Um, can't make good decisions for themselves or the children because um, you always have to consider the feelings um, and the comfort of the six-year-old. When the fact, when the fact of the matter is that sometimes the six-year-old is going to be uncomfortable by a, 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 a smart, responsible decision by adults, and they, and they will always think that they're the most important thing ever. And when the fact of the matter is, like I told you, like I just said, in a school in, in a school setting in a classroom, the student is not the most important thing. Now, a lot of us say that, but you've got to all you got to do is think just one more level up, level up. That without the teacher, what do you have? Nothing. Children of the corn. What you got? Um, so so you got so the teacher is the most important person in the classroom. If you know what. If the CEO doesn't do a good job, there aren't any jobs. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. If the CEO does a crap job, then the company goes away and then nobody has a job. Nobody has a job. Um, so it's really important. If you're on, a, a, and I'm, 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 I know I'm backing up with the video. If you, if you, if you're on an airplane and the mask drops down and the and the kid grabs it, but they're not strong enough to open up the emergency door. Then you're all going to die. And you're on the floor. You're all going to die. Everybody's going to die. So the stronger person has to have the, the air. The adult has to have the air because that's the person who can open the emergency door and, 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 and make sure that the kids get out. And the stronger person in the house is the adult. Is the adults. And they need to be strong enough to be able to go to work. To, to feed you, to take care of you, and all of that. So the most important person in that household are the parents, and, and not the, the children. And the studies have already said that children who grow up in, you know, in, a, in a household with, with a mom and dad who have a good relationship actually do better. So if you're really concerned about your children doing better, it's important that you, you and your spouse have a good relationship, that you build that relationship um, so, they've got, so the kids have a good example. So they know what a, a, a good a good example is when they leave. And they and those kids do better. They they are they are more comfortable, they're more secure, they feel safe, um, they feel loved um, when their parents have a good relationship. So is that's what's that's what's important. Not that they get doted on all the time and get all the stuff they want. That's not when they feel the best. That's when they that's when that's why those kids act out. You wonder why does that kid act out? He's got everything he, and he gets everything he, gets he wants. Everything he wants he has the best clothes and he's the got best a, shoes. He's got everything. I don't know why they act out. Well, they act out because there's something missing in their lives, and what's missing in their lives a lot of time is is how 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 they view their parents, and that's not a secure and that's and that's the security that they need. That's what makes them feel comfortable. That's what makes them sleep. That's what lets them lets them sleep at night. Um, that they know that their that that their that their household is in a good place, and the only that they can make sure of, that you can make sure of that is that your that your marriage, your relationship with your spouse is in a good place, and that and like we keep like we've said, we've had I don't know how many seven hundred videos so far, 
um, that um, not quite not quite seven hundred no. six thirty two um, that um, making sure that your that your relationship comes first because it's the most it's the most, it's the most important relationship in the house and I think that even again even if you have not been doing that um, if you start doing that in a responsible way I think you're going to start seeing some of the benefits of that. You, you will. There's going to be some resistance in the beginning um, because you're changing and, and the kids are figuring out what the heck are you doing. Um, but eventually, but it'll all be for the best. It'll be for it, it'll be for the best. And frankly, the sooner you start, the better. Start this week. It's Monday. Uh, we're we're um, <clears throat> we're doing this on a Monday morning. So start this week. Taking care of your marriage and you don't have to, your relationship and you don't have to do anything drastic. You don't have to do anything crazy um, tonight when you get home with your children. Um, but start, I don't know, sit in different places in the living room. You know, if your kids normally wrap around their mommies before they go to bed, move one of them out the way. <laughs> this is my wife. Excuse me. I want to sit next to mommy. And I yeah, remember you doing here. that because Alex is, Alex is a, is a mommy's boy. And and sometimes, even now, I notice that, you know, you get a little jealous of, of the relationship that I have with Alex. Sometimes it seems like I, you know, he and I do things and then you'll be like, well, what about me? They bought a car together. <laughs> we I, bought TVs together. <laughs> The car that Debbie drives now, they bought together. I didn't have any, I didn't, people, people when I drive, they go, oh, that's a nice car. And I always go, I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I have nothing, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, my son and my wife went and bought this car. Um, the, the two, new, the two new, new TVs we have in the house, um, they went off and got together. Uh, yeah. But that's fine. But, but, but that's cool. But that's after a long, long time. The stove. The stove. <laughs> you see where this is going? Do you see where this is going? I'm like, oh, we have a stove. But but is that what we're getting? To, we have to back up, and then I have to realize, you know, this is my husband, not my son. So, but but you know what? And we'll just and but and we'll disappear on 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 a Friday sometime and and spend an evening somewhere. And then or and weekend then somewhere. we'll well Friday evening we won't come home until late, and then um, my son comes he comes home and he's like, well, where y'all been? <laughs> out because I'm grown. <laughs> it's like he's the father. Well, you know, but you know, I I think most of that is because he because because he's concerned about yes. obviously, but uh, but 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 again, when you're when you have small children, go ahead and do those kinds of things. You don't have to do anything big. You don't have to do anything anything shocking. You don't have to go and you don't have to dad. You don't have to show up and 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 declare an edict tonight. This is how it's going to be henceforth and forever. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you really don't. Oh, the garbage! The garbage is coming in, and it's still in the house. And it, it has to wait till Thursday. Uh, we'll take it out, and put it in the can. But um, I guess something's backing up. Right now. But it's about, it's, about it's about time to cut this down. We started a little late, so I'm letting it go a little over time. But um, please. Um, Take some time, spend it with your, your significant other. Um, take time out. We uh, often take times out to, to get away and, and uh, just be a married couple again. Identify yourself more than just as parents. Yes. Not that parenting is, isn't important. We're not saying that. Um, but in order to be, a, I think in order to be a good parent, you have to be a good married couple first. Um, I think that, you know, and I know a lot of people who, and I, I, I'm not talking about people who are single parents, but well, this is not dogging them out. No. So don't get all, don't, don't get all dark and crazy and twisted. But some single parents, you have relationships that you're working on toward mm -hmm. marriage. You know, don't uh, let your children dominate the relationship that you're trying to build with, with, uh, yeah. and, and even, another. and even then, even, even if you're just taking, even if you have to just take, take, take some time for yourself decompress sometimes Sorry. no worries um do that because you've got especially if you're a single parent where where you where all the responsibilities fall on you it's real important that you take some that, that you take some time for yourself if you know if if possible so um 
and people come into this, you know, and and the whole single parent, you know, the, the whole whole single parent thing is 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 tough because people come into single parenthood any number of ways, by divorce, by you know, by death, um, by choice, and sometimes sometimes by choice. So um, it's it 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 can. Sorry, guys, I'm having some issues with my eyes, She's having allergies. Some, there are some technical difficulties with her eyes. Um, so it is. So that's a whole other that's a whole other kettle of fish, um, and we're not and we're not talking badly about you know what about people who who, who are suffering but you know, you know are are dealing with single parent. No, that's not good. That's not a good look. That's too much. <laughs> okay, we need to cut this because I'm having some uh, issues with my eyes. Uh, we got some eye watering eye, eye watering situation. So uh, anyway, allergies. Um, all right, folks. So listen, uh, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not getting emotional. Like and subscribe. <laughs> And click the don't and, and, and click the, the notification bell. Um, share share our series with your friends, and even the people that aren't your friends, because that's the most fun. Uh, so until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And, Check and, out our new videos on YouTube. We're doing a lot of new stuff on YouTube. Tell them about that, babe. Yeah. Okay. I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do that. We've been doing some vlogging um, in addition to what we do. Our, Every Monday, like we did, a, 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 an Aldi's haul. We went to all. We, we went to Aldi's. We're going to be doing more stuff out and about, um, and check it out because there's new stuff there, and and it's more stuff there than what you see here on Facebook on Monday. So, um, and and the, some of the new stuffs on the website. Go to go to the website, and I'm going to put the website in the, in the description in on Facebook and on YouTube. So. All right, we gotta get out of here and make it for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and love some yes. love somebody, learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. Peace. Peace. We'll see you Have when we see you. Have a wonderful week. Yeah, do love you. Do what you can. <laughs>